Everybody, um, <clears throat> new field, new farm. We've me and Carl have walked down here. That's all we've done, and went back to the car. Um, there's the farmer. Just been talking to the farmer over there. Uh, this one here, you can see it's full of ridge and furrow. And you can see it there. Goes up, up, up. Keeps going down. It's quite fierce down the bottom end. It's uh, ridiculously deep foot, uh, ridge and furrows. Anyway. <clears throat> I've come in the field, um, not had a target all the way up there until here now, I've just dug something out, flipped the sod over, I don't know, there's a coin I think, it's looking like a coin anyway, but uh, yeah, it's not in very good condition, it's definitely an half penny, so look at the edge, yeah, I'd say that was a George third half penny, it's got the, like a million around the edge. But uh, very crusty that. Don't think I'll get much off that. But uh, good start. First old dog, coin. That field there's the one where I had all the coins from out of it at the top. Uh, so I'm just trying this ridge of furrow. His, his old man's farm is over there. Uh, that dates back to the 1400s. Obviously, the village is medieval, so yeah. Uh, it's looking good so far. Right. Well, I'll carry on, stop blabbering, it's actually freezing cold today, it's minus two, it's really frosty this morning, this was all white over this was, uh, when I went past this morning. Okay, let's carry on, see you in a minute. Hi guys, um, seems to me like a lot of people around here had a lot of holes in the pockets when they were uh, walking around. <laughs> anyway, I just found a uh, off pence, the old off P, see that there? And they gave off a massive signal for some reason. Buckle. Still got a crappy pen on it. Uh, just had no target here now. I've just dug a uh, threepenny bit. Uh, probably World War II by the looks of it. George VI. Yeah, just seen there. It's going to get you a date. Uh, 1945, right at the end of the war. So uh, yeah, I've just come all the way across this field, I've done quite a bit of crap actually, big pieces of foil, a couple of animal tubes, lead, um, nothing amazing. I've just come down here to where these liner trees are, um, I'm assuming that's some kind of old um, border for his land maybe, um, but we'll see. Anyway, <clears throat> Doesn't seem to be any ridge and furrow on this field here, unless it's been ploughed out, so hopefully if anything's been ploughed up, it won't have gone back down too deep anyway, so we'll carry on. Them of the fields I really won't get in up there. You can just see them, it's a bit messy today. All those little strip fields there, those are ancient. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to have a walk over towards there. We'll just see how we go with the light and that. Right, okay, I'll carry on. I'll see you on the next day, hopefully. Hello, guys. Um, next target, anyway, down here. It's quite deep, actually. Good pinpoint of depth. Um, especially for a Vicky half penny. But uh, I filmed it. It's got quite a bit of detail on the face and that. But uh, it's deteriorating as, uh, as quick as I can bloody film it. But anyway. Let's go date for you. 1862. What's that? 154 years old, is he? Five. Okay. So if that's got if that's gone down pinpoint to death in 150 years, where well, the old stuff then must be a bit lower. Alright, I'm just heading over here. Go through that gate in a minute. I'm just making my way over to these fields here. Well that's one first anyway. Okay. Let's carry on, I'll see you in a minute. Hi chaps, right, I've just walked all the way across this field here now, digging a few targets now. I've just um, put them on here now. Uh, usual, again, bullets. I was talking to the farmer, he reckons the TA might have trained on here in the, just before the war, or around the war time, I don't know. Well these seem to go all the way across the valley. So I, I mean I've had them in this field, that field, field further on, where the van is, and the next one over. 
uh, all in a line more or less, so we've all been training around here. Uh, piece of lead, <coughs> that looks like a bit off an old oil lamp, probably the adjuster, and then they've had a load of cogs, which are weird. So I don't know what they're off there, they're out they're after a clock or whatever, or possibly even the, the wick winder out of one of them, could be. Who knows? But anyway, I've just found a triangle rock here and it's pointing directly at that oak tree there. And she's pointing directly at the ground. Could it be Captain Kidd's treasure? So, uh, yeah, a little bit of a knockback there to Oak Island if you watch it. Anyway, you can go up this little strip field here and down, possibly the second one. Uh, I don't think I've got a lot long uh, with the light anyway, so, right, I'll carry on, I'll see you in a bit. Hey up chaps, I don't know if you can see that there, old squeeze style, uh, there's another one on the other side. So what my lens, let me see, there you go, uh, right, so yeah, there's a little path there, it goes, looks like it goes through all these little fields, I didn't know that, right, so now I do, anyway, just had a nice target here, and a uh, nice old buckle. So we're getting back a bit there now. Probably, uh, I don't know, 15, 1600, 1700s, and then 200 years anyway. Cool. Right, we'll carry on up here. It's quite steep this is. <laughs> See how it goes down. Looks down to the little river there. Right. Let's carry on, I'll see you in a minute. Right chaps, I'm quite a way up this bank now. <laughs> um, yeah, I've just looked at them styles, them styles keep going. They go right from there, across there, and they just keep going all the way through every wall. I don't know if there'll be any more up the top, top end. I'll have a look anyway. Uh, anyway, I've just had a target here. I'm thinking it's a coin. Well, it is a coin. Let me just see who it is, hey? I just faked it out there, you can see the uh, impression. And, uh, let's have a look. Right, there's a date there, I can just see. Uh, 1863, so Queen Victoria, Penny. Yeah, you can just see a neck there. Let's give it a wipe. Yeah, not in great condition. But, uh, yeah, another one. So, middle of nowhere, up a bank in a medi medieval strip field, so cool. Right, let's carry on, I'll see you in a minute. Alright chaps, made it to the top of the hill. I want to have to go to the gym tonight now, that's my legs done. Uh, see how far down it is, can't you, down there? That's where I was, down by that wall. And quite a steep climb up here. But look at that little field over there. Uh, look at that. Ridge of Forrow there, go straight to the river, gorgeous, anyway, just let you know, anyway I packed in smoking three weeks ago, I've been on this thing, so I feel a lot better because of that, uh, not touched the fag, but look at this over here, just over the brow of this hill, amazing, amazing view, that's my farmer's house, down there, Oh, right on top of the hill. See these? Uh, you can see the hills? High peaks and stuff in the distance. They're proper up in the hills. Surrounded by them. So, yeah. Whew. Right, I'm going to go down the second field. I might pop me over into the third there and just have a look. See which one looks more interesting. Then I'll walk back down and head back to the car and off. Uh, it's getting very messy. It's going to be beautiful up here in the summer. You see the old chair uh, there. That's on top of an old um, apparently Saxon church. Anyway, Queen Master Neil, he'll probably enjoy it up here as well. We've got a bit of a nightclub on the go there. And Raffman. Have some fun in there. 
Right. Let's carry on. And uh, if I did find anything else, I'll uh, show you. Right, I'll see you in a bit. <coughs>